Hello everyone, this is Sanjay Parashar. Welcome back to the channel. And today we are on the session 5 of Muli SP4. And today we will be learning how we can pass query parameters or input parameters dynamically when we are querying an Oracle database. In our previous session, we learned how we can connect to an Oracle database and how we can select the entire payload of a particular table. So let's see what was the flow that we created as part of our previous session. So this is the Mule application that we created as part of our previous session, Oracle database demo. And here we exposed our service as an HTTP listener here. And then we queried the Oracle database. We made a connection and we query the table employees, which in return, gave us all the records of a particular table. So it had five rows and it has given us all five rows. And we transformed that or Java object to JSON payload and we send that back to the user by using this event processor called set payload. We use this logger to prove that that Oracle database is returning a Java object rather than a human readable uh, format. So let's remove this logger from here now. Now the agenda of today's demo is that we want to get something from the user and then pass that dynamically to our query. So let's say we will be using a get operation of HTTP and a user will give us an employee ID. For example, it will give us an employee ID which is 1001 which is this so we'll have to configure that in our mule application to be able to use that parameter dynamically here we will need to change this query select star from employees where employee id is equals to colon employee id so this colon will basically tell that it needs to be replaced with input parameter which is here so we will switch to the expression mode here and we'll give the employee id under the attribute section we know that we have something called query params and in query params we have employee id so this basically will change, will take the user's input, which is employee ID, and append it with the query. So let's save this. And it should automatically be deployed. It's not a very major change. And now let's test our service. And as a result, as we can see, it has filtered out all the records and now we have only one employee that is uh, Sanjay with employee ID which user gave. So this is it guys. This was a fairly easy way how you can actually dynamically pass the input parameters to filter out the results. If you want to give more than one input parameter, you can use a comma separated value in the parameter section and pass multiple parameters as well. So thank you so much for watching. Take good care of yourselves and you have a nice day ahead. Bye bye.